Who can a man trust? The eyes of suspicion are on us all. New thinking is abroad within the land. Men want the freedom to run their own affairs. Especially the freedom from the yoke of the English crown. Many have perished at the, hand, at the hands of the bloodthirsty English. Who fear the revolution of the French on their doorstep across the English Channel. The English dread the French interference in Irish affairs, knowing this may stir up the disaffected within the realm. Retribution for insurgents is swift and savage. Who would blame my wife for thinking the end of the world is nigh? Loose talk can send a man to the gibbet. West Cork echoes with the sound of the militia as the English secure their interests. More's the pity the French failed to land at Bantry Bay. My Miss Jimson thinks this was an omen. She could be right. My family urge me to mind my own business and follow a godly path. They say this is safer. Wool is what the English want now. No sale for our mutton. It's the English markets that matter. And the English merchants don't care if the Irish can't trade. There are changes in the air, I sense it. Is it any wonder Mrs Jameson is upset? She thinks we're letting the devil in with all this talk of revolution. Few of us Protestants are banding together now. I got myself a book, The Right of Man. The English don't like it. What is a man if he can't speak his thoughts? That's tyranny, all right. There's a meeting of this new political party, the Whigs, taking place here in Bandon tonight. Going to be a bit heated, I would say. Some want more parliamentary democracy for Catholics and Presbyterians, but want to keep Ireland under the crown. I want to see Irishmen of all religions unite and fight so Ireland can take its rightful place amongst the free nations of the world.